Yo, what's up you guys? Welcome to F0X. It's a let's play on the N64 made in 1998. I told you so many things happened that year, this being one of them. So this game is nuts. Let's do the standard uh, difficulty. And we will do the Jack Cup. We got Jack, Queen, King, and then later on Joker. And we only have one row of vehicles for every three X's you win in the cups. You unlock another row. But to start things off, we'll be the man himself, Captain Falcon. This game is still fun to this day, but my god is it difficult. And I only ever rented it. So I did, this is one of those games that, like look at, F-Zero's whole thing is high speeds. And even though this game is ancient at this point, it still feels fast and is, it definitely has something going for it. And it's one of the more difficult racers on the N64. So right now we don't have boost power, you can see that red energy meter. You get boost power on the second lap, and you can press B to help boost instead of just using these yellow things on the ground. Alright, but, yeah, see, the steering is so sensitive. Like, I'm barely moving the stick left and right to make these turns, because if you do any more than barely, you start to skid out and drift, and it lowers your speed exponentially. And it's very difficult. I don't know about on standard, we'll see. I practiced a little bit. But it, definitely on expert, and then there's another class that you unlock later called master. It is so hard to win, let alone survive. You can see my energy is almost gone. But these pink strips, you see them like once per uh, lap. And they refill your energy, which again, doubles as boost. So it's not only shields to survive, every time you crash into a wall, another racer, your energy goes down, and every time you boost, it goes down. And if you get hit, when you have nothing, you explode. And you can see I have one, two, three, four racers left. Next to Captain Falcon's face there. We got first place in Mute City, that's good. But that's the easiest track in the entire game, so... I haven't even practiced all the courses. Like I said, this is a game I only ever rented. I didn't spend enough time with it as a kid to get good at it. So this might be the first Let's Play that I, I might be out of my league and not be able to finish it. But this music's awesome, I'll let you enjoy it. Yeah, I just love how intense it gets. The music picks up just as you get boost power in lap two. And just the boost sound. The sounds are so good. The sound and the music are amazing. And you can see that guy says rival. He's closest to me. He's the guy in, who came in second last time. Every single race after the first uh, track, it will display your closest rivals. The one closest to you in point value. And you can destroy them with the shoulder buttons and a crazy spin attack. But I'm just gonna boost to the end. Oh crap! Jeez, almost fell off the track. I didn't know that was possible on the Jack Cup. It's very possible in the later tracks though. And that's where I'm gonna be very scared, especially playing on Expert. I mean, we're not doing that yet, but... I'm just kinda getting into it. Like I said, I practiced just enough to get the feel for it, kind of, again. But I didn't even play every track. So... I'm very nervous about moving up to Expert and going to the King Cup and beyond. Oh yeah, this track's awesome. I'm just dumping this crazy thing. This, see, this is the thing. I was gonna play the original F-Zero on Super Nintendo to continue with the Super Nintendo thing I was doing last week. But that game pales in comparison to how this one feels. See, that would be a good time to do the spin attack, but it slows you down and it's not always worth it to destroy the other racers. Sometimes you just want to focus on the racing. But there is a separate mode called Death Race where the whole objective is not to win, 
but it's infinite laps and you just destroy everybody on the track and that's a lot of fun. I think I played that more than the racing when I rented this. Alright, gotta be careful, we're almost dead here. There's a boost on the left kind of right here. And yeah, you gotta be ready, you have to know these tracks and be ready for stuff because it goes so fast. My best friend and his brothers, they had the GameCube one, but I never really played that game, so this is still... Dang it. So they almost flew off the track, but that's the spin move. If you hold R and tap Z twice, R and Z are how you, uh... Smash either to the right or to the left, but you could double tap Z to do that spin move, which is another way to take them out. Nice! I don't know how everybody dropped back like that. That must be a standard difficulty, uh kind of like forgiveness on the player or something. So far so good. Haven't placed anything but first. Devil's Forest. I don't remember this music. This might be one that made it into Smash Bros. I can't remember. Oh yeah, I recognize it now. Okay, so you have an air break by pressing down C. Which I'm playing on a GameCube controller, so I've mapped it to the X button for convenience. But that's not always the best way to take a turn. In fact, I don't even know if the best players in this game ever even touched the air brake. Because I was looking, and there's a whole class of people that are... They know the ins and outs of this game and perfected it. So from my understanding, I think the best way to take a turn is not use the brake and then go in the turn. <laughs> But to double tap the uh, either R or Z to shoulder bash to the right or to the left. Because it kind of straightens out your vehicle without losing speed. But yeah, like I said, winning is hard enough. It may not seem like it watching this, because I've placed first so far. But this is only the first cup, keep in mind, and we're on standard difficulty. Because it's a little more exciting than Novice, but I might actually drop down to Novice for the Queen Cup, because I didn't practice those tracks. But yeah, the rival, to finish what I'm explaining that, um, since they're the closest to you in point value, destroying them is a great strategy, because that guarantees they get zero points for the race as long as you finish. So if you can destroy your rival's car, and then place first, you completely wreck them and you might get a new rival for the next race and that's a good way to stay on top of the circuit. Big Blue. I hate this level. I love the music, but this is one of those stages, you'll see. I think it's almost instantaneous. Sorry for talking so fast, but everything's happening so fast. Here we go, this is Big Blue. Big cylinder, as you may have seen on the course thing. Somewhere on this cylinder, there are boosts. Where they are, I only kind of know, but not really. And then steering to them is a whole other story. So right now, my rival and the people most likely to place first, they're hitting them. Like that. And I don't know where they are. That's one of those things that no matter how many times I play this game, I probably couldn't find a good route across that cylinder. And that's all this track is. So if I play this cup on Expert or anything else, I guarantee you I'm going to come in 30th because I don't, I don't know. Yeah, okay, there's that one right there. Missed it. Okay, I got that one. I knew there was like two back-to-back -back on the green side. But this is something I would have to study somebody else playing this game. Slow it down to like half speed and just memorize where on the cylinder to slightly adjust in order to hit all the boosts. Hopefully on standard, it's not going to be too bad, but I'm in 12th, final lap, 5 seconds behind. Follow the rival, maybe he'll hit it. Whatever. See, like I could boost, but I have limited energy, and if you boost too much on this thing, you lose the gravity connection to it and launch and die. And that's even more of a problem in the later cups. Yeah, see, it's skidding already. There's the last one. That was a terrible cylinder. 
Like, you want to be boosting on that thing the whole time. Yeah. Ninth place. Like I said, awesome music, but I can't stand that stage because I, I don't know it. I, I don't know. I don't know if I'll ever know where, where to go on that cylinder. But we're still ahead, so that's good. And there's six races, so this is it. Port Town High Jump. I'm just leaving. You could change max speed and acceleration. And it also doubly affects your drifting ability and your grip. Like I said, this is kind of a complicated racer where there's... There's hidden statistics that are really playing a factor into your controls like crazy. And the game actually saves what you pick for each track. Not each character, but each track. So for a track that has a lot of tight turns, you might want to change your cars. You want, might want to favor acceleration over max speed because it also makes turning easier. I think that's how it works, but there's it goes way more in depth than that. But all I'm doing is playing this for fun, just to relive how cool this game feels. That's ice, obviously, so you don't want to go on that strip. But yeah, my only hope is to just win and survive. But like I said, I don't even know if I'm capable. Dang it! of beating this entire game on the master difficulty, all cups. I'll try. I'm definitely gonna beat expert. I'll challenge myself that far, but if master is really demanding perfection, I don't know if I can do it. But it's a fun game, and so it's worth playing to the best extent that you can. But yeah, there's definitely people out there that make even master mode look easy, and it's not. Gonna make it! Dang it! Well, there you go. You can just retry to speed that up. Because otherwise, it says retire and you gotta wait for it all to load again. Not that it's. It's an N64 game, there really is no loading. Yeah, out of here, there you go. See, I got three stars, I just took out three people. So now there's not even 30 racers in the track. That's an example of destroying people. You don't get anything for it, I don't think. There might be an unlockable for destroying a certain amount of people. I'm not sure. I would have to look up all the cheats in this game to see what you can unlock. All I know is for every three X's, you unlock another row of cars to pick from. And X's are awarded based on difficulty, so beating this cup on novice is one X. Beating it on standard gives you two X's. And beating it on Expert is three X's, so really, if you want to unlock the cars right away, you just want to play on Expert mode and win. But that takes practice, so we're doing Standard, and I don't know about Queen Cup next time. We might bump down to Novice, and then I'll, I'll see how I feel. Maybe jumping into Expert and just learning how to beat it is the way to go. Alright. Keep with it. 10th place, last lap, rivals up ahead. I'm winning, but if I place too low, I might not get first. And I think you have to get first. That's kind of the idea of a racing game. But yeah, these characters... This is obviously made by Nintendo, it's Japanese. Crap, I, that was a horrible turn. You see how much speed I lost? Yes, eighth. No, get out of the way! Yeah, I got fifth. I'll take it. That might be enough to keep me in first. But that's it. That's the end of the Jack Cup. Based off of the playing cards, you got Jack, Queen, King, and then later Joker. And the Joker Cup, my god. Yeah, I did it. Sweet. This music's cool, too. But there you go. That is the first cup of F-Zero X as Captain Falcon on standard difficulty. This to give you a taste of how fast this game is. And it's definitely kind of a more serious racer in that regard, unlike Diddy Kong Racing, for example, or Mario Kart. Yeah, I don't know, I just I was feeling the F-Zero stuff. They're like, yeah, remember that game? I kinda wanna wanna feel that again. Cause yeah, it's still fun to this day, even though it's so old and 
could probably be replicated and polished even further today. Boosting still feels great. And it's a game that if you do practice and get good at it, it it's a lot of fun. Like, you really gotta... Like, I was gripping this controller tighter than I've gripped it in a while. Because it's just... You gotta be ready at all times. And that's just... It feels cool. It's like how a racing game should feel. That guy, I can't wait to unlock him. He's cool. I like his car. But Captain Falcon's alright, too. My time has not yet passed. Yeah, like all the characters in this game, I don't know their history. I think there's like a manga series or something with them, maybe? I don't know. But F-Zero is kind of like lost and forgotten, so who really knows what's going on? I don't know. I kind of feel like we might see it soon. But there you go, that is... I think that's all we'll do. It's about 20 minutes, give or take. So if we actually go and look, you'll see the two X's. So yeah, next time we will try the Queen Cup, maybe on Novice, just to get used to it. Thanks for watching!